Our software, a powerful tool, has just gained superpowers. In this video, I will show you some of its new features. I'm Santi from Impronic USA. Let's get started. With your purchase, you will download an executable file with our new Software Pro Edition icon. Double-click it to start the installation. Click on More Info, then Run Anyway. The installation window will open. Click Next, leave the installation path as default, and click Next again. Then press the Install button. Wait for the process to finish. And finally, click Finish. As we can see, a shortcut has been created on our desktop. We connect our trainer via USB, both the upper board and the lower board. Double-click it, and if the firmware is not updated, you will notice it in the following way. When opening the COM port, it won't show whether it's the bottom or the top, as you can see on the screen. To update the firmware, I will leave you the link with the tutorial. Once the firmware is updated, we open our software, preferably two windows, one for each board of the trainer. As you can see, when opening the COM port, it shows that COM6 is the top, meaning the upper board. We open the J1939 protocol at 500 kilobits and press start. The LED 7 will begin blinking rapidly. In the other window, we select the other COM port, in my case, COM5. When we open it, it shows that it's the bottom, belonging to the lower board. That's one of the new features of the Pro Edition. Now we select the same protocol and the same speed. Press start and perfect. We now have a fully functional canvas connection. Now, let me show you the new interactive dashboards. Let's start with J, 1939. First, we need to set the VIN. Click the set button, then okay. Click on the picture and our J1939 dashboard will open. The possibilities are endless but I will show you a few functions. Let's use the key to start the vehicle. And as we can see, it's already giving us data automatically. We can shift gears to get different data, though in this case, we will leave it indirect. Once in this gear, I can move the tachometer to see how the data behaves in the receiver on my other window. As you can see, the values change as I move it. In the same way, when I press the accelerator, the data keeps coming in automatically. Every button has its own function. We can see signals for turn indicators and much more. We can even simulate a fault directly from the dashboard, just like you see on screen. We send the corresponding ID and the data with the fault code. Below, we have the ID and data to clear the fault code. We copy the ID and the erase data to send the signal to clear the fault. As we can see, the check light has turned on. To clear the fault, we paste the data into our send window and press CAN TX. The fault has been cleared automatically. The switches and other buttons will help you understand the information each one sends through the CAN bus communication without needing to connect to a real vehicle. With this pro version, you can save your sessions and open the desired information at any time. Just click File, Save As, choose the location and the name you prefer. As we can see, a .cbt file was saved on my desktop. I will close the current window to open this saved file. I open a new window, go to File, Open, choose the No option, and select the saved file. The information loads instantly making it easy to access your different work sessions. Now, let me show you how to export your logs. Another new feature of the Pro version. We go to the Data tab, select Export Logs, choose the location and name, and click OK. An Excel file has been created on my desktop. Let's open it, and we can see it contains the same data from our software, but now in Excel format. This makes teamwork, as well as sending and receiving data, much easier. Now let me show you the dashboard for the OBD2 protocol. First, we open our port, select OBD2 as the protocol, and set it to 500 kilobits. In the other window, we select the other COM port, in this case, COM5, with the same protocol and speed. 
Then click Start. The LED 7 lights should begin blinking rapidly. To enter the dashboard, we first set the VIN, click OK, and then click on the picture of the vehicle's interior. The OBD2 dashboard opens automatically. When we start the vehicle, we notice the first difference. No data is sent automatically because OBD2 in modern vehicles has security protocols that prevent data from being delivered automatically. In this case, we need to request it. We switch our gear to direct, and from here, I can already modify parameters, such as the speed, which I'm adjusting right now. As a first example, let's request the vehicle's RPM. We enter the data 0x02, 0x01, 0x0c, and press CAN TX, we get a positive response. Now, we'll increase the RPM and request again by pressing CAN TX. And as we can see, the response is different. If I want to know the vehicle's speed, we replace 0x0C with 0x0D and press CAN TX. Immediately, we get a positive response, and the information appears in bit 4. If we increase or decrease the speed, the response changes accordingly. In the same way, we can simulate faults. We enter the data corresponding to the oxygen sensor fault code that turns on the check light. Below, in the same way, we place the ID and the data with the erase code. We copy this exact code to send it from our other window and press send. As we can see, the check light has turned on. Now, to clear it, we paste the erase code. And as we can see, it clears immediately. All the buttons are fully functional, and the dashboard's behavior changes depending on the gear, just like in a real vehicle. We set the dashboard to parking, and we can turn it off. If you want to work with intervals, with this Pro version, they are now unlimited. We go to the Interval tab, where we can create multiple requests at different speeds. Simply click Add. For this example, I've created just three requests. Click Start, and you'll begin receiving data. Now, the receiver filters the data automatically, giving you one row per request so you won't get confused when receiving information. Also, remember that you can program the physical buttons on your trainer to trigger actions in the vehicle. All these functions, and many more, are part of the Pro version. Don't wait any longer to get yours and start training like a professional. And don't forget to follow us for more tutorials.